We just arrived at the entrance to Kulin Mountain and uh, Sochit uh, tells us it's about a 20 minute drive up before we reach uh, our destination and uh, there is where we will go swimming. Right? Yes, I believe. And that's going to be a waterfall up there and Sochit tells us it's the most beautiful place in this part of Cambodia. But you can't always believe Sochit. He's a bad boy. Yeah, he tells a lot of <laughs> stories. And it's okay. He talks a lot. Yeah, yes, he, he does. <laughs> but uh, the drive up is very pretty. Very pretty. Interesting. So, interesting fact coming up the uh, mountain, uh, traffic goes one way. So, up until 12 o'clock, you can only go up the mountain. And then after 12 o'clock, that's the only time you can start coming down the mountain. Unless, of course, you come across somebody on a motorbike who for some reason is coming down the mountain. But he probably works here or lives here or something. You come here, you plan on staying till at least 12 o'clock. I guess that's what I'm saying. That's good for us. Yeah. Good for us. We don't need to see it next. We pulled off to the side of the road. This is a viewpoint we're going to see. And obviously, we're not the first ones. So the view on the mountaintop, we will go over there too. They are, I think, Korean? just as crazy. <laughs> I can see why this place is so popular. Steve, you should sit down. I should. You should. Well, no, it's it's not that. It's you're you know you're going to injure yourself. <laughs> yeah, but I won't. It, it won't be an injury. It'll be a death. I'll go <laughs> over that. <laughs> Before we go to the waterfall up here on Kulin Mountain, we're going to see the Lazy Buddha, or as the locals call him, the Reclining Buddha. And that's, that's Steve's Buddha because Steve is lazy. Remember the Vietnamese woman in Vientiane told me that. He lazy. He lazy. And of course, like any other tourist attraction, there's a lot of mom and pop gift shops up here. All the school kids up on the mountain have the morning classes let out, so there's a lot of them scurrying around. The weather is still nice, not hot yet, but I'm sure it will be by the time we get up to the waterfall. So right now, we go see the Lazy Buddha. And the entrance to the Lazy Buddha. Adorable. 
Oops. <laughs> An inevitable Buddha shrine. Where everybody comes and does their incense thing. Very colorful. So it's up there? Yeah. Ah, we gotta walk all the way up there. Okay. There's a stair, there's a stair. Okay, so the, uh, the climb up to see Steve's lazy Buddha. seen this before the lazy Buddha Steve's lazy Buddha. And now we get the backside. Please do not ride on the Buddha. But people just can't help themselves. They've got to ride on everything. After lecturing the, uh, the tourists not to hit the gong because that summons the monks to breakfast and lunch, we're making our way back down. No idea what this guy is talking about down here over the loudspeaker. There is some shit guardian of our shoes and hats. So that temple was the Priya Ang Tam temple uh, with the reclining Buddha. And we're pretty much finished with the, uh, yeah, let's call it the temple mount. And uh, we're going to start heading towards the, uh, a little further up the road to the waterfall. Actually, I think we walked there. 